Hi, welcome back to PSOE Math Heuristic Lesson. Now, today we are going to look at grouping method, which is one of the commonly used methods to solve a lot of problems. Uh, so one of the, or the biggest method that we have so far is model drawing. Uh, so every time you see a problem, you always think about whether can I draw the model. And then the next, the next method that you want to think about is whether can I use grouping. <laughs> okay, grouping is, is, uh, is, is, uh, is, is very common. Right? It's very, very common method uh, that you will see in many problems in the exam. So what exactly is uh, grouping? Now, grouping is like what some teachers will call uh, making one set, right? So sets method, right? They call it the set method, uh, but I like to call it the grouping method because it's more simple to understand, right? It's grouping, right? Grouping means you make one group. Uh, so over here, to use the method, you always have to start with one group, right? Make one group, all right? So you have to make different kinds of one group, different types of one group, and then look at the question to find how many groups are, are there. So you make one group according to what the question asks you, and then you find how many groups there are, and then use the how many groups that you have found to work out the answer. So it's as simple as that. All right, so uh, let's look at this primary five or primary six problem. So uh, it, is a, it is a simple problem, but it can be hard when you do not know how to use the method or you are not aware of this method. So most students, they will use guess and check, which is a very, uh, which is like a method that they always use. Okay, this guess and check method is something that students will keep using and using uh, when they don't know how to solve. Uh, not a very good idea because guess and check takes a lot of time. And also if you guess wrongly, uh, uh, you, may, you may, you will take a long time to solve, right? So I would rather the students learn other ways, okay? Not always depend on guess and check. So let's look at this question to see how do we use the method. Now a courier service company charged $11 for the delivery of big parcel and six dollar for small parcels. Now, one of the clues to use grouping is to know uh, is that you don't know how many big parcel and how many small parcel. So that is one of the clues that you need to look out for. And the other clue is also you need to know how much is one big parcel and how much is one small parcel. So these are important clues, right? That you need to have if you want to use grouping. Okay, now last month, the service company received $12,636. All right, so you are going to find how many groups inside this total value. All right, and then the big parcel delivered was three over eight of the small parcels delivered. So there is a fraction there. So by now you should know how to interpret the fraction. The numerator points to the, the, the first, first, first group and the denominator points to the second group. So which means that uh, there are three units of big parcel, there are eight units of small parcel. All right, now, of all the clues that I mentioned just now about when to use grouping, the most important clue or the most important uh, thing to look out for is whether can you make one group. If you cannot make one group, then you can't use the method. So can I make one group from this question? Yes, I can make one group, all right, which is how many big parcel and how many small parcel. Right, this question is talking about big and small parcel. So my one group has three big parcel and my one group has eight small, right? Eight small parcel. And of course I can also make one group which is the total parcels in one group. So the total number of parcels in one group will be eleven. Okay, so you make one group with three big parcel and one group has eight small parcel and eleven parcels altogether. So you make different kinds of one group. Okay, now, uh, if you look carefully at the question, you want to know how many groups inside the total money. So you have to make one group with money, right? One group with how much, right? Right now you can see the one group has no money inside. So how to make one group which is how much? So that's why I told you before, you need to know how much is one big parcel, which is $11. So 11 times three, $33. So it's important that you know how much is one big and one small. So one small parcel will be uh, six times eight, Right, six dollar times eight, so that will be forty-eight dollars. And uh, what's the total? How much is one group? So one group will be eighty-one dollars. So you make make money. All right, you make some money out of your one group. So you can see that I have at least six kinds of one group, six kinds, and I actually have more than six types of one group. If you look carefully, I have one group, three big parcel inside which is uh, one group already. I have one group again with eight small parcel, all right? I have one group with total 11 parcels, so I have three kinds of one group. I can also have one group, how much is all the big parcel, which is $33. I can also have one group, how much is all the small parcel inside one group, which is $48. 
I can also have one group, which is the total amount. How much is one group altogether? $81. I can also find the difference. I can also find how much more is all the small parcel than the big parcel. So how much more is all the small than the big? I take $48 and I minus $33. And I will get uh, $15 more. Right, so let me just write down first. All right, I can also make one group, which is how much more? So 48 minus 33. Okay, 48 dollars minus 33. You can see that I can also make one group, which is 15 dollars more. Right, so there are different kinds of one group I can make. So once you know all these different kinds of one group, you are actually able to solve any kind of problem. All right, whatever the question asks you to find, you will be able to find. So how many small parcels did the company deliver? All right, so what do we do? You go to one group to find how many, uh, how many small parcels, right? There are eight small parcels. You can see that there are eight small parcels. So we are going to look at this number, eight small parcels. So you have to know how many groups there are. So how to find how many groups? Go back to the total amount, which is what is given to you. Uh, that will be $12,636. And how many groups are there inside this total money? This total money that the company uh, collected. So you have to divide, right? Divide by what? You go to one group to find how much did the company collect, right? In one group. So the company collected a total of $81 in one group. So one group, there's a total of $81. So you divide, uh, so you use your calculator. So you have 1, 2, 6, 3, 6, and you divide by 81 you will get $156. Oh, sorry, 156 groups. Okay, not, not dollars. So this is how many groups. So 156 groups. And this is very important because you're going to use how many groups to find how many small parcels. So if there are 156 groups, then how many small parcels are there inside? There are eight small parcels. So you times eight. So times eight, and you will get 1,248 small parcels. And that's how you work out part A. All right, now, the next, next part, okay, the next part, how do you find the difference in the amount between delivered, uh, how do you find the difference in the amount received from the big parcel and the small parcel? So what is difference? It means you minus. So we have done that already, right? We took $48, the difference between the big and the small, and the difference is $15, which is one group. So your one group, there is a difference of $15. And how many groups have you found? You, you found 156 groups, right? So you go and multiply by $15, which is a difference. So you take 156 and you times 15, and there is a difference, right? The difference is how much? The difference is $2,340, and that's your part B. So you can see that the method is very easy, very easy to use. The question may get very hard, uh, but once you know that you can use grouping method, the method is always the same. Just that maybe the problem gets harder, uh, but when you apply the method, the concept, right, the idea is, is always the same. So let's, ha let's have a quick recap. So what is grouping method? Grouping method means you have to always make one group. Okay, and there are so many kinds of one group you can make, <laughs> which is what uh, I want to show you. And once you have made one group, then you can find how many groups are there, which is the next step that you must do. And once you know how many groups there are, then use the how many groups to find your answer, right? To find your, to work out the answer, right? See, use the so many groups to find how many small parcel, and also use the, the how many groups to find the difference. So it's a very straightforward, uh, I wouldn't say it's a straightforward method, but it's a very common method. Uh, but there are many kinds of questions, not just this kind of question. There are also other kinds of questions that can use grouping, like making groups with remainder, right? There's a, there's a remainder when you, when you find how many groups, then what do you do about it? Uh, and then uh, and there, 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 there are a lot of problems that can use grouping. All right, but today we just look at one of them. And uh, hopefully by the end of this lesson, you understand that grouping method is actually one of the very common method. All right, there are a few common methods that you must, uh, you, you must be aware. Uh, model drawing, of course. Uh, grouping method is also another method that must be always be at the back of your mind when you think about solving. Whether can I use grouping? Every time you solve a problem or you look at a problem, you always think about all these common methods and look out for clues. Look out for clues on whether can you apply this method. If you can't make one group, then the method cannot work. Means you have to use other ways of solving. So uh, grouping method is only used when you are able to make one group. So if you can't, then you have to look at other 
other heuristics, right? other methods of solving. All right, so we are done with this uh, grouping method. So stay tuned to the next lesson. Uh, we, are, we will be looking at a lot of uh, um, several, okay, several interesting methods that you can use. Uh, so far, we have covered almost quite a number of them, but there are still some more, right? There are still some more that uh, that you can learn, right? And uh, it, it's going to be quite interesting and quite fun. So I will see you in the next lesson.